The words what if are very powerful. Over the years, the words what if have led to some amazing accomplishments in radio frequency technology. In the 1990s, a team of U.S. Navy engineers envisioned a single radio that could communicate over multiple secure radio networks, eliminating the need for multiple radios on board ships and submarines. General Dynamics brought that vision to reality with the digital modular radio. Now, 15 years later, the words what if continue to drive General Dynamics mission systems to advancements and innovations that only a few years ago were unimaginable. Building on the foundation of flexibility and vastly simplified communications architecture that was ushered in by the DMR, GDMS has developed new ways to expand the boundaries of high-frequency radio performance, making the DMR even more powerful and more versatile. What if a radio could expand its high-frequency networks without adding hardware? With HF Virtual Channel Exploitation, or HFVCE, the DMR's HF frequency scanning capability is enhanced to effectively quadruple its networking capacity. Traditional radio scanners allow a communicator to set a single transmit frequency as its primary communication network. HFVCE allows up to four frequencies to be entered as the scanner's primary network frequency. By using only the radio's key switch, the communicator can switch the desired primary operating channel. This allows the communicator to switch seamlessly between the four networks without requiring an operator in the ship's radio room to reconfigure the scanner. Because the selected primary operating channel ID is communicated through a voice announcement in the handset, the need for visual indicators is eliminated. The communicator can remain focused on the task at hand. Additionally, HFVCE operates on a single channel of the four-channel DMR, freeing the remaining three channels to support other mission-critical waveforms, such as SATCOM, SYNCARS, or HAVQUIC. What if a radio could support prioritized radio networks and double its communication capacity? With high-frequency dynamic routing, DMR radios can now support eight secure HF communications networks on a four-channel radio. The HFDR feature allows DMR operators to assign an HF network frequency and a priority to each of its eight audio handsets. These frequencies are monitored by the DMR's four transceivers and automatically route voice traffic from a receiver to the handset assigned the frequency being received. Calls initiated at the DMR by a communicator are automatically routed to an open transceiver channel. A total of four HF network connections can be supported simultaneously. Using the priority level assigned to each network, the HFDR feature ensures high priority users of the radio always have access to a radio channel. And what if all this could be done with the highest levels of information security in place? DMRs with virtual channel exploitation and high-frequency dynamic routing functionality maintain the same level of encryption, regardless of whether they're configured to use the programmable embedded Type 1 encryption provided by the General Dynamics Advanced InfoSec machine chip or external encryption devices. Together, General Dynamics mission systems and the U.S. Navy continue to ask, what if? to advance the boundaries of RF communications and deliver best communication systems to those whose lives depend on it.